Hi everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make honey walnut shrimp. You know, the kind of honey walnut shrimp you can find at Panda Express. This recipe right here, it's amazing. It is so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, you make it Gina Young style. It's going to be so tasty. You all never had my honey walnut shrimp before. You better make yourself. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first ingredient that you will need is some nice fresh shrimp. Okay, so we have some large shrimp that I have peeled, cleaned, and deveined. Okay, now I've washed them off with a little bit of cold water, salt, and then I've pat them dry with a paper towel. You will need some brown sugar. So we have some brown sugar here and you're gonna need some lime juice, okay? You will need some sweetened condensed milk and some mayo. I choose to use either Duke's or Hellman's mayonnaise for this recipe. You're gonna need some nice sweet honey, and of course you're gonna need your walnuts. Now, those of you that don't wanna use uh, walnuts, it's okay to use pecans, okay? You're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. You will need some cornstarch. You're gonna need some parsley flakes just for color, salt and pepper. Now, there's two other ingredients that you will need. You're gonna need two large eggs. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. I am so excited for this here recipe. This is a recipe that we make here at the Young's house at least once a year. I could, I could literally eat this once a week, but we make it once a year and it's delicious. Now, the first thing that I wanna do, let's go ahead and get the shrimp nice and seasoned. Only thing you need is some salt and pepper, okay? Salt and pepper is the only thing you need. Don't be stingy with the salt, you need the salt, okay? but not too much. Beautiful. We're gonna go in with some pepper just like so. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever been to Panda Express and you've tasted their honey walnut shrimp. If you never tasted it, give it a try. But here, I'm gonna tell you this. When you taste it, it must be fresh. If it's not fresh, you're gonna be kind of turned off because you know, after a while of it setting, your shrimp will get kind of soggy and you don't want that. You want it right out the pan where that shrimp is nice and fresh and crispy and that sauce is warm. You know, I'm getting all excited. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. When I come back, I'm gonna share with you all how we're gonna glaze our walnuts. It's really simple. Okay, so what we wanna do first to make our glazed uh, walnuts, like I said, you can use pecans if you like. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take three fourths of a cup of water. I got a nice hot pan here. You want it to come to a slight boil, which will probably take about two or three minutes. It shouldn't take too long because it's not a lot of water and that pan is nice and hot. And what we're gonna do, as soon as I start to see some bubbles happening, we're gonna take one cup of brown sugar. This is light brown sugar. You can use dark brown sugar if you want. The part, um, when you're glazing, a walnut or some type of nut it's it's really easy but what you do want to do let me go over this way is you want to take some type of pan and this is just a cook, cookie sheet and i've taken vegetable oil and i've greased it my purpose for greasing this pan is because when they come out of the pan what we're going to do is we're going to set them on there and they won't stick by using the oil. If you put them onto something, you put them on a plate or a platter, whatever you put them on, grease it so that they don't stick. That's very, very important. So I'm starting to see bubbles here already. Let's go ahead and put our one cup of brown sugar right in just like so. I'm gonna give it a nice stir. As soon as this starts to bubble, we're gonna throw in our walnuts and it's not gonna take long to get these nice and candy. They're delicious and there's a couple of options that you can do with these. When they come out, you can sprinkle some sea salt on them, you can sprinkle some cayenne pepper on them and just eat them to snack on. Okay, now 
here's something very special that I found at Walmart. This is so interesting. I have never seen this in my life. This was in, it's candy walnuts. This is actually what we're doing right now. So it's nice to know it because those of you that don't want to do this step, just purchase this and I'm going to tell you where I found it. I found it in a section where you would find the, uh, ice cream toppings like you know how you find the um the fudge and you know the caramel and all of that this is sitting right beside it this is exactly what we're going to do to our walnuts now that i'm seeing some bubbles here let's go ahead and put our walnuts right in just like so as much as you want you don't have to do a whole lot okay because we're not making too much shrimp we're making about a pound of shrimp let's cook this for about let's just say five to seven minutes and it's done it'll be nice and glazed and we're going to set it onto that grease pan just like so so now that everything has been bubbling for about five minutes it's going go ahead take it out i'm using a slotted spoon we're going to put it onto our grease pan kind of break them up a little bit so you don't have huge clumps and this right here is candied walnuts, so good. Like I said, put some seasoning on there. Put a little bit of sea salt and enjoy it as a snack. Make some extra, because you're gonna love these. Okay, so now that this part is done, when I come back, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make the most amazing sauce that you have ever had in your life. Take one more look at this before we cool it down. It does not need to go in the refrigerator or anything like that. Just set it aside on the counter. So now, Let's get started with our sauce. We're gonna need, I need to put my rings back on, but we'll get to that, okay? So now we're gonna need one cup of mayonnaise. Don't use Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip, <clears throat> excuse me, would not work for this recipe. It just wouldn't. You have to use a savory mayonnaise. So your favorite mayonnaise, you know. We're gonna use one cup, just like so. If you want to use a little bit more, absolutely you can. You really can't mess this recipe up. If you want a little bit more sauce, you know, like as a dipping sauce, use more mayonnaise. Okay, so we have our one cup here. Let's get it into our bowl. I love this bowl, guys. Okay, so now let's get all those goodies out of there. We don't want to leave anything in there. We got one cup of mayo. All right, just like so. And then we need to use one fourth cup of our honey let's get this out of the way and then we're going to use one fourth a cup of the sweetened condensed milk if you turn around and you put a little bit of oil into your measuring cup anytime you're uh, using honey the honey will slide out with ease if you do that i didn't do that today but i highly suggest that you do that okay Put a little bit of oil in and it will slide out really easily otherwise you're going to need to do this okay so now that we have our honey in with the mayonnaise this right here is delicious alone but wait until we put the other ingredients in let's go in with one fourth of a cup of my favorite sweetened condensed milk oh listen here i could drink this whole can by myself oh uh -huh. <laughs> but but wait because it gets better. Oh, it gets better. All right, let's get all that goodness out. You could not, you can't wrap your brain around these flavors that we are putting together right now unless you try it. You have to try it. Let's set that aside because I don't want to mix it up yet because I need the, the, lip, the lime juice from one lime. And if you can't get a lot out, roll this like this or throw it in the microwave for 15 seconds so it can get nice and juicy. Sometimes it's hard to get the juice out of your lime. So let's cut it. And we want the juice from the whole lime going in. Okay, just like so. Oh, look, I'm getting lots of juice and that's awesome. And then I like to go in with my fingers and kind of really get that juice out. Okay, just like this. We're gonna get this other side just like this. What the lime does, and trust me guys, the lime kind of cuts all of that sweet, sweetness because keep in mind, we put that sweetened condensed milk in and it's really sweet. And then we had honey and then you got that savory mayonnaise and you put this in that puts a sour to, oh guys, the sauce, the sauce is so good. Mix it up just like this until it's well incorporated and this 
is our sauce. This is the secret weapon to an amazing dish. So before we get started uh, battering up our shrimp and getting it fried, let's go ahead and put together a nice fresh element for this dish. Now, one possibility could be some lettuce on the side to eat with this. You want a palate cleanser to cleanse your palate as you're eating that savory, sweet, you know, that, that, um, that shrimp. Okay, so here's what I choose to use. I always choose to use the cucumber as a palate cleanser. It's gonna cool your palate down. It's gonna rinse your palate off, okay? And it's delicious with this. Like I said, the next best thing would be maybe some iceberg lettuce on the side with some white rice. The reason for cutting the green off is just to make your cucumbers look nice and beautiful. And plus, I really don't like all of the skin being left on my cucumbers. So let's get them chopped down just like so, and we're gonna put it onto our plate nice and beautiful so we can have a great presentation. Say hi to Prince and Polo. We have Polo there on the right and Prince here on the right. Say hi guys, they're so excited because they get a piece of cucumber. Here you go guys. There you go. I think I just said Polo and Prince on the right, <laughs> but I meant to say Prince on the right and Polo on the left. Get it together, Gina. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We got our cucumbers nice and sliced. Now it's time for the shrimp. Let's get two eggs beaten up. These are two large eggs. And this batter is the most simple batter that you can make and it's delicious. But I do need to tell you, I'm just grabbing a fork here. I do need to tell you that when you make this specific batter, it doesn't get golden brown. I'm gonna show you the texture that it gets, but it does stay nice and crispy. That's what I do love about it. Okay, so now we've beaten two large eggs. Let's put it into this bowl, just like so. I wanna whip it up a little bit more. Beautiful. Now, in we're gonna go with our shrimp. So let's take our seasoned shrimp that we seasoned up really good with the salt and the pepper. Any extra liquid in your bowl, leave it in the bowl, don't pour it in there. Okay, let me put this here. And then we're gonna take cornstarch. All right, I'm grabbing a spoon here. We're gonna take a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch and let's, let's stir this around first. Let's get the egg onto your shrimp. Just two eggs. And all depending on how much shrimp you use, you might need, uh-oh, you might need one egg. Okay, so since I just used my spoon, we won't put our spoon in here. All right, gorgeous. How much? Just get you some in there. I'm honest, I'm being honest with you guys. Just get you some in there. Doesn't matter how much you use. You just wanna get that egg and that cornstarch nice and coated all over the shrimp. And it's gonna look somewhat like this. Kinda of funky, okay? Just like so. Now, over here in this pan, I have some vegetable oil that's heating up. We're gonna cook our shrimp on a medium heat until it's fully done. And when I come back, we're gonna put our dish together. I'm gonna to say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Our oil is nice and hot. Our shrimp is nice and coated. Let's get to frying these bad boys. Okay, so we're gonna take them, lower them into the oil. And if it doesn't sizzle like that, guess what? Don't put any more in because your oil's not hot enough. Okay, if the batter is like this, don't freak out, it's okay. Okay, just get it in there. It's gonna do what it's supposed to do once it hits that heat, trust me. Oh, ooh, this dish right here is by far one of my favorite shrimp dishes. We love shrimp here at the Young's house and they love when I make it this way. Sometimes I make it this way without the sauce. You know, and we just dip it into some hot sauce or ranch or whatever, but try it this way and now, Keep in mind that this shrimp does not take long to cook. Any shrimp that you have does not take long to cook, so don't overcook it. Overcooking shrimp will taste like rubber, and you don't want that, okay? So now, you don't wanna overcrowd the pan. If you overcrowd the pan, what will happen is the, the shrimp will stick together. It's okay if some of them stick, stick together, but you don't want them all sticking together, okay? So now I think I'm gonna put two more in here and we're just gonna let that cook up. When I come back, 
we're gonna get started. So our shrimp is done. It literally only took three minutes, if that. Okay, so look at the color that you're gonna get by using the corn starch and the egg. It doesn't get any browner than that. All right, so now what you do, oh, it's gorgeous and so crispy. <laughs> we put it onto this cooling rack. This cooling rack will allow the oil to drain. And then what you wanna do is heat your salsa. Okay, our sauce that we made, make sure it's nice and warm. You never ever want to pour a cold barbecue sauce or any kind of cold sauce onto anything hot. It just doesn't work. You got to heat it up. If, whether you want to throw it into a saucepan and then toss these around in the saucepan with the sauce, do whatever you want to do to get the sauce nice and hot. What I've done is I just snooped it in the microwave for about 50 seconds. It's nice and hot. Here's what we're going to do next. Let me remove this oil out of my way. I'm going to mix everything up when I come back. So as soon as your shrimp comes out, I want you to season it a second time. You don't have to. If those of you say, we already seasoned it before we battered it. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I like to put a little bit of salt on mine. Like, I feel like you need to. Not too much, okay? Don't get crazy with it, all right? But when it comes out, that salt is able to adhere to this. Oh, yes, okay? A little bit more pepper. Beautiful, look how gorgeous they are. And maybe some parsley flakes. See, see, how, see how you can make things beautiful. I like to eat with my eyes. I like for everything to be, be, you know, to look beautiful. Okay, so now we got hot sauce. We got our beautiful shrimp. Let's put our shrimp here into some type of bowl or some type of platter so you can mix it. Hoo-wee, my mouth is salivating. All right. Here's what you do. Come on with the sauce. Come on with the sauce, Gina. <laughs> and don't be stingy with it, my goodness. All right, so now I'm just going in. I wanna get everything well coated. And you don't have to drain it in the sauce. That's why we make extra so you can use it as a dipping sauce to put a little bit more on if you like. Okay, gorgeous, okay. Let's put together our plate. And when we put our plate together, we're gonna strategically place our walnuts in the bottom of this dish, in the middle and on the top. Be right back. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style. Honey walnut shrimp, make you some. Let's make everything really quick because my, my camera's gonna die. I wanna thank you all for watching this video. If you all enjoyed this video, Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. A really, really quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for another beautiful day. We thank you for this meal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen once again. I know, I know, I know. I know you're ready. We're going in and I'm going to give you all that first bite. Oh, look at it. Oh, and it's got the sauce. Ah, 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 wait, wait. We got the sauce all over that crunchy shrimp. We got the glazed walnut, walnuts just like so, and a hint of, you know, bite of crunch. <laughs> Take a bite, let me know what y'all think. And as always, God bless. Good night.